72-year-old African-American man sharing a video on his recent encounter with police on Facebook. The video went viral, but not for the reasons you might think. Watch. An officer pulls up behind me, throws on his lights. After understanding that he was there for me, um, I pulled off to the side. He gave me a warning, and I was about my way. I am an African-American male. This gentleman was Caucasian. There were no problems. People need to understand that not all officers are crooked. Not all officers are racist, bad people. And not all people who get uh, shot or tased or arrested by officers are innocent victims. Ignorance has no color. God doesn't see color. Why should we? Well, the video has gotten nearly two million views. Now it's time to meet that man. He's William Stack, an Army National Guardsman who posted that video. So it's been a wild uh, 48 hours, William. I watched this as soon as it, well, almost as soon as it went up. The rea how would you characterize the reaction to your video? Um, it's been a lot of positive feedback. Um, of course, there's been some negative, too, but you know, it kind of comes with the territory. Uh, for me, the most important thing is just that the, there's a positive message being spread. So you got pulled over. What were the circumstances there? Um, I was coming. It was downtown Lexington here in South Carolina, and I was pulling out of um, one of the municipal buildings, and I needed to make a left turn. Uh, the, the lane was filled up with traffic, so I pulled out into the median and proceeded through the median to, to shortcut my way to get to the turning lane because that was, that was where I needed to go, and it was empty. Right. Um, and then the officer pulled up behind me. So... You got a warning, and that's it, and that's the way it could be done. So you're not saying that uh, anything about the Walter Scott thing was any different than it was. The cop was wrong. He's in jail. He's going to get his trial, and Walter Scott's dead is a tragedy. But you have an alternate message. Things might not be equal. Things might not be fair, but this is how you deal with it, correct? Yes, I think for me, my message is... Um there's no doubt that there's a lot of injustices going on in America. Everybody can agree with that. What I'm saying is not all people are bad. You're not automatically a bad person because of the color of your skin or because of the profession that you do. I think we should, as people, judge a person based off of the content of their character rather than uh, the color of their skin or what they do for a living. Give everybody a fair shot. Have you experienced racism in your life? Unfortunately, I have. I have, and it's happened on multiple occasions. Um, honestly, I just, in spite of that, I do my best to not let my past experiences affect my future experiences with the people that I meet. Where does that come from? Does it come from your military training? Does it come from your parents or both? It's, a, it's definitely a combination of both. You know, I was always raised to see the world with eyes open, you know, see people without color, um, give everybody a fair chance. And when I got to the military, that was uh, even more astounded on because, it, you know, when you're in the military, you work with people of all different races, of all different uh, backgrounds, and none of that matters when you join because our uniform is the same color, we all serve the same purpose, and we're all protecting the same freedom. Well, I'll tell you one thing, William. Uh, everyone might be surprised about the number of hits, including yourself, but no one's going to be surprised when you turn out to be an extraordinary success. William Stack, thanks so much for sharing your story and your video. Thank you for having me. No problem.